Welcome everyone. In today's video, we will see how we can uh, create a stacked waveform graph by reading some Excel sheets data in LabVIEW and how we can set its graph properties and all the other things. So let's just get started. So in order to get started, we need some data to put on the graph. So right now I have this Excel sheet in which it is given that the brand sales report, brands and sales report. So I'm gonna fetch the data into the lab view. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save as this file and browse and save it in the form of CSV command delimited and um, let's just say I'm saving that into my new folder F or I can save it into new folder 2 and save that it says that you can only save that the active sheet basically so I will click that OK so that it means that only the active sheet right now I have opened so now I can even close that and uh, don't save and now what I can do is I will shift on to the block diagram and open my file IO and read the matrix spreadsheet create a control which will show me that what I am getting and create a constant of comma which means that it is comma delimited right now and uh, <clears throat> here I can set an indicator create an indicator right now and uh, I can place that in here to see the results so let's just give it the path uh, right now it is new folder 2 and then I can just select new folder 2 and the CSV comma delimited this file and press ok and run my program so as you can see in here right now I am still getting the data but I'm not getting the brand names basically so what I will do is I will delete this out and remove the broken wire by pressing ctrl plus b and change it to string indicator and now if i create an indicator here then it will give me the brand names as well so i will just reduce its size and run ok and now as you can see in here i am getting all the brand names like brands and their year and their sales value as well and this is all the data i am getting right now now i have to put that data on my graph basically so to put the data on the graph i am going to use a silver ones graph and waveform graph and let's just place that in here and now is the plots in here and now I want to plot basically this data on this graph so what I need is basically all these uh, data from 100 to oops that's a lot bigger so I need the data from the brands I don't want to choose these two lines these two rows basically so I want the data from the Nike to A6 to 560. So what I will do is I'm gonna extract those rows. I'm gonna index it first. And this indexing is giving me right now or I can just shift that to string to number decimal string to number basically since I have right now the integers not uh, fractional numbers so I will go with the, my i32 integers otherwise if there are like um, fractional numbers then you can go and select this uh, constant in here which will give you the output of a fractional number 
but right now i will just delete this out and go with my integers since i have integers right now and now if i use index error function then i'll connect it in here i still have rows or i can use array subset function basically so if i connect it in here i will get the rows and the columns basically so if i press 2 in here and create an indicator as you can see in here i have i am getting the data as in the form of rows and here i have created the length basically what i have made a mistake is i connected it with the length what i need to do is i have to connect it delete this wire and connect it with the index of rows so now if i run my program as you can see in here <clears throat> as for the strings i am getting um, the zeros and as for the other values like from 100 to other values i am getting the proper output so i can place that in here to show you and uh, i can even connect it with my index column one so that it will give me the only numbers here right this is giving me the from starting from 100 which means that the Nike brand sales to 560 almost I can create a vertical scroll bar to see all the outputs so it is giving me the right outputs right I can just close that in here place that in here and now i can put that data on my this graph so right now i cannot just connect that with in here waveform graph and let's see how it gives me the output right now this is giving me the output in the form of rows basically so it is giving me the wrong output so what i'm gonna do is to use the transform array so that it now it gives me the three uh data sets data sets of like the three years brands like 2010 11 and 12 and uh, now it is giving me the three columns plot basically so what we're gonna do is we want to show that in the form of stack graphs so i'm gonna select bar plot and then this particular option similarly i will go to again bar plots and select for all of that bar plots and this but still as you can see i am also getting the lines basically so what i'll change is i'll go to interpolation and set that in here and again bar plots sorry interpolation and set that in here as well as for the greens interpolation and set that to this still i'm not getting the same values but i need it as you can see some values increases and some values decreases in the column will uh, basically cover the backend values so that if the blue ones let's just uh, give them the names uh, the first one is our let's say give the name of 2010 and the second one is our 2012 11 sorry 11 and then the last one is our 2012 so this is giving me the graph right now but this is not in the form of percentage so we will convert that in the form of percentage right now so to convert that in the form of percentage i will just delete the wire and use two loops basically so place a loop in here again place a for loop in here and then connect that with the inner loop so that it will give me basically right now the element each element and then what we are going to do is we are going to use divide function and 
we'll connect that in here oops we'll connect that the output with my for loop replace with the shift register connect it in here let's just drag it down a bit connect with my divide and create a constant of zero so that it will start from zero and then the each value will be divided by the next value and connect it in here or i can use the plus sign and then in the final we have multiply with creating a constant of 100 and connect that in here and connect the output with my waveform graph so let's just run that again still it is giving me a wrong value because we have made a mistake in here we cannot divide that we have to replace that with the plus function so replace that with plus and replace that with multiply go to replace numeric palette and um, sorry divide plus divide and then multiply that will give me the percentage form so right now this is giving me the proper percentage or say giving me the proper uh, stack waveform graph i can change that to brand percentage brand percentage and i don't want to show this uh, the axis so what the next thing i can do is i will go to properties and um, it will just take some time and here in properties i will say the plots scales on plots i do not want the x-axis to be visible so i will just visible items x scale remove the x scale so that right now i'm not getting x scale visibility and now if i go to properties i can select these lines basically centered so to scales and auto scale in the form of minus 0 0.5 to 8.5 so now this will if i press ok then what will happen is oops yes right now it takes some time uh, as you can see in here this gives me a little bit distance from here which is 0 for minus 0 0.5 and then similarly have 0 0.5 distance from my uh, right side so this is giving me the proper interpretation i can change the its colors basically as you can see in here i can choose to this one and similarly the other colors but this is okay right now so now i want to show the brand names on in here so what i will do is again i will go to properties and then in properties what i will do is i will go to cursors i will add cursors basically so first cursor is giving the name of brands so my first cursor is in here is nike and the color of the cursor will be black show the name of the cursor and allow pre dragging none we here are the basically the points and here are the none and then this will give me the only name of the brand basically similarly i can add other the name of it is adidas adidas and i can choose show name cursor name to black and similarly to none none and then again add so this name is right now i have Puma and show name cursor color to black select none none and then add the third or say let's say the fourth one is wildcraft 
wildcraft and show name cursor color to black like none point and none line add cursor color to black show name cursor name is pepe and points are no points and no line and and the last uh, i hope so this is the last one i cannot just drag it down in here so i press now ok these are pepe and then there's glars and the other ones so i will just go again properties and since as you can see that if i right now don't uh, if i go to my cursor 5 right now since the color is yellow so that you can see this yellow line in here because of this so if i show the name and change the name to glars and select none and line to none then this you can see the lines are removed and similarly i will change the name to black and then just add similarly the next one is our buffalo buffalo show name cursor to black and then none and none add this is our code and show name cursor color to black none and none and then add the last one at the basic ones so the here we have the basics cursor color to black and show name select those none which means that they will move the points and lines so these are all the brands in here that we have got we can place that where we want it to place First, I will just take all of the cursors. So the last one is our basic ones. And then we have uh, code. Here is our code. Here is our code. And then what we have is buffalo. I will change the color so that it will be more visible. Let's just say I am using the color of yellow. Then we have a buffalo. Buffalo color is in here and then I have Clars Clars is in here and then I have Pepe so I'll remove that and place Pepe in here like one was our first one and then what we have is Nike and Adidas Adidas in here and then I have Puma Mm, the central one was our wild craft so this is our basically the graph right now if i run the program so that's how you are getting the stack here from graph